Shalom, shalom, my people. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another video. Let's just get right to it. Why do you boldly proclaim that Yehovah is your God? Why do you boldly proclaim that you are Israel? And then at the same time, some of you, not all of you, but some of you, equally as boldly proclaim you don't keep no Torah. How is that a blessing? In what way are you playing a part in your own redemption when you choose to continue the disobedience that got us exiled in the first place. Now, I love you, but I adamantly disagree with you if you're of this stance, if you're of this mindset. We as Israel is supposed to be a light to the nations. We as Israel is the word made flesh. And let me explain myself. When I say we are the word made flesh, when we as Israel start to exemplify what is written in the Torah, when we start to apply, when we start to walk according to the laws, statutes, and commandments, the precepts that Yehovah gave to our people, then we are adding flesh. We're adding flesh and blood to the instructions of Yehovah. We are making it living. We are making it alive because we are exemplifying what it says. It's already alive. But we are shining, we are showing forth our light when we walk according to it. We are being the word made flesh when we exemplify what the word states. But we cannot just go around boldly proclaiming that Yah is our Elohim and that I am Israel and beat our chest. And then at the same time, refuse to keep the commandments of Yehovah. It doesn't work that way. We have to line up with the will of Yehovah. We cannot just acknowledge it is righteous, yet still refuse to keep it. We are the people of the book. We are descendants of them people. We are of that stock. That is what I believe. That is what I know. You can disagree with me. You have the right to disagree with me. You disagreeing with me does not even affect me at the least. I'm not looking for your approval in what I say. I don't need your validation. But if you are identifying yourself as Israel, if you are saying you are a light unto the nation, if you are saying you are a son of the most high, that you are walking in righteousness, how are you walking in righteousness when you refuse to keep that which is our righteousness? It is the Torah. Our simply acknowledging Yah is not enough. It is good. It is imperative. But it's not enough if we're going to choose to disobey what he says at the same time as well. So, my people, we have to humble ourselves. We have to submit to the will of Yehoah and walk according to these righteous laws, this holy teaching, which is our life. We got to do it. We play a role in our redemption. So my brothers and my sisters, if this is you, wake up and do that which is right. Return to Yehoah. And in returning to Yehoah, it comes with walking according to his Torah. 
This is your brother Yael Ezra been living. Shalom, love, and blessings.